All right, folks, here I am again. It's Friday. I just got done doing a little video on this power color. Red Devil RX 6900 XT Ultimate. The card that broke the world record at 3.3 gigahertz by G OGS out of Greece. He's pretty much the guy that breaks all the world records. This cat, he's got it down. And now we're gonna do, this is, this is gonna be just an unboxing of the case that I'm gonna be doing the build for the, um, the MSI build that I'm gonna do, which is gonna have a MSI, the Gaming X Trio going in it. It's gonna be probably a 3080. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I don't know what it is about this case, but ever since I seen it, I just like the way it looks. It's not an NZXT or a Fractal. And I was a little bit concerned about the build quality of it, but it did look like it gave fantastic, fantastic airflow. So let's see what we got. It's a mid-size case. It'll take every size board from that little munchkin ATX right up to a regular ATX. Okay. Wow. So on the top, we have a little button for LED controller. Two 3.0 usb ports i do like this it has a separate input output whatever you want to which way you want to call it for a mic and headphones we have a restart button and a power button wow this this is a well-built case i'm pleasantly surprised okay a plastic front all mesh we have two 120 millimeter ARGB fans we have enough room on the top of this to definitely put either a two uh, a 240 or a 280 it looks like it might even take um AIO so I think I might end up picking up another AIO I might if it takes a 280 I might I don't know if MSI makes one. I've got a, a, three, a 360 MSI water cooler. Oh, well, I guess you could fit a 360. Nah, you get the fans in the front, so you don't want to do that. So it looks like I'm going to have to skip on a 360, and I'm going to have to put either a 240 or a 280 in the top of this. I will put a 280. Actually, I just might even build one. Like I built that other one. I'll get an Alpha Cool. I'll get a 280. Maybe a 45 millimeter, which is about twice as thick as your average one. Put some nice hoses on it. Put an MSI water block and bingo. We'll have us a nice little thing. All right. Wow, these are tight. I want to do this up on the table. It'll be easy to see. Okay, got it back up on the table. Oh, I definitely got to get a get moved into a shop. Hopefully, my partner and I, once things start becoming a little more available, it's it's right now. It's really hard because even being part of a partner company such as PNY and some other companies that we finally got in it's still tough to get video cards although we can get them more than we used to be able to get them 
I'm going to be setting up a site where I'm going to do live sells right on YouTube. I'm sure it won't take long for that to kick off. Um, down the road, it'll probably turn into something where we do an online store. I don't want to do a walk-in store, not in my city. It just wouldn't probably work out too well. But we already have a shop that my, my partner's buddy owns. He owns a f telephone cell phone store and uh, a good size chunk probably maybe five no probably around 800 square feet of it and is where we could uh set up shop in there but it's not going to be open to the public really i don't want to do laptops and walk-ins and it's just going to be all builds clean new builds okay so back to this i do like what i see so far it's got some nice subdued design on the side it's got the MAG logo in the front as I said it's plastic mesh looks like great airflow front back top that's not going to be an issue um, I like the little MSI logo I do like the the aesthetics the, the, the the corners and edges and it, it's really nice looking um, okay pretty plain on the back it's kind of a wide it's a wide case too for not being huge it's not it's not long it's tall but it is definitely wide it's almost it's like a little over eight and a half inches wide so a lot of them will lean more towards eight and a quarter um, it probably will still take I should have left this card out but Okay, so it's 12. Yeah, it'll fit in there. Well, I'm not going to put this one in there, but well, you never know unless somebody wants it. But then it won't be an MSI build. Okay, so let's take a peek, see inside here. Take a little look, see. Take a little look, see. You can use a Phillips head screwdriver to take these off. This is a little bit old school still, but um, it's okay. Gives it kind of that mechanical look to it. These are solid. I did a fractal one time and the bloody things were bending and twisting and falling off. That meshify, I tell you, I, I like fractal, but that case was a nightmare. I would never recommend that case for a build. Almost lost it there, folks. You guys want to see me shatter the glass because that's what it is it's glass we don't have this this is not Lexian or plexiglass this is glass I'd have a thousand little tiny pieces all over it's nice I don't know what we got here is it clear or it looks like it may be tinted plastic on oh nice plastic on both sides it does have a slight tint to it clean though nice okay I think they look really nice with the tint and some ARGB lighting behind it it really does dress it up yeah so we do have some nice room in here we have a good power supply cover plenty of airflow a pamphlet all your screws oh your um yeah okay they all come pre-installed well not all of them I'm seeing there's one missing over here at the top the standoffs yeah, I'm actually this is set up for two. okay yeah I have to put a couple but that's no big deal we have one it's kind of no I might change that fan but it's an MSI fan so it says MSI on it you really can't see it from the back I might put a uh, I don't know, let's have to see. I don't want to play in this back one. Oh, these front ones are much better. These are quality. This one right here is uh, and one of them Acme. <laughs> Acme. Uh, it was the road runner when you need them. Okay. All right. In the back, seven bays. I think I'm going to use the... Um, 
I'm going to go with the AMD AM4 X570 Carbon Wi-Fi. I have one in my rig. I love it. What a beautiful 14 and 2 phase. What a nice, what a nice, what a nice board. I, I just got to say it a few times. What a nice, what a nice, what a nice, it's a great board. Okay. He's a little tight. Wow. For the thumb screws, if you want to slide. Okay, yeah, you can slide your, okay, you can slide the tray back and forth. Oh, and things are tight. That's a good thing, though, because like with that fractal I was talking about, that bloody thing, I tightened it up, they stripped, they broke, they fell. I was like, this, I couldn't believe it. I had to literally solder. Oh, these are, what a difference, yeah. These have nice double layered metal threaded holes to put the your thumb screws through. Yeah, that's that's night and day. Let's see what we got in the back for room. Because of course everybody wants to know how cable management would be. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. All right. It's not as deep as I was hoping it would be, but it de oh, it's got a little hub. So everything's all set up. I guess if you want to put a bigger power supply in here, you could probably put an 850. Um, seeing most people don't use big hard drives anymore, and you really don't need these bays, I would probably put like a 1000. It might be a little bit big for that. So I would pull this out and stick stick a an HDD if you were going to get like a four terabyte or something. Actually, I would rather go with it. If I'm going to get a HDD, if I'm going to get a, a a mechanical hard drive, I would do what I did with with my um, with my machine. I would put a 2.5 mechanical, like when I shucked. If you've seen my video on shucking. Um, how I shucked that one out and that's four terabytes and it's a little baby I just fits right on the back here but you could put your SSD back here you could put looks like two mechanical hard drives so you got your hub you got your power connector that goes to a SATA yes and then you I wonder if this it's just a controller. I'll have to look at it. This little two pin might go to the motherboard to just control the lights. Or you may be able to eliminate the SATA and use the power right off the board running the hub. I think you probably can. I don't see why not. As long as you put it to a, a 5 volt. Remember folks, 3 pin, 5 volts, 4 pin, 12 volt. Make the mistake I did. You know, huh. <laughs> Put a put a put a put a, a four pin. I, I one time I put a SATA to a ARGB, which was it was it turned out to be 12 volts, and I pl I burnt the bloody things right out. It, it, it burnt out so quick the fan couldn't even spin. I did it also one time with a flash drive er, on on a USB hub. There's a straight up, it's not a it's not for data transfer, but on the back of like a decent one, you have a little red USB, and normally that is just for it's an adapter for power. And um, you don't want to stick a USB drive in there because it's not a data transfer and it fried my USB drive out like totally dead forever. But live and learn. All right, so there we have it. I think it's a nice looking little case. I definitely do. It comes with everything you need. It comes with all your stuff in the back here. Just actually, I'm gonna try this fan. It's, I just don't like the feel of it, but it's a dual ball baron. It's a little bit light. You can tell it's just very light plastic, but it may hold out for a couple of years tops if you're very lucky. 
We have plenty of ARGB plugs in the back to put to all your fans. The ones that go to the front fans are already connected. And power, okay. If you notice over here, when I was saying that I could build a, a, a AIO, that's pretty much what I did with that AIO. That's a 45 millimeter radiator on there. It's probably twice as thick as the standard AIO. Um, and I put a cooler master pump and new hoses and I filled it with the fluid. I ran it, I tested it, runs beauty. I like it. Next time though, I'm gonna use the alpha cooler block. And with the alpha cooler block, you have a little window on it. So if I wanted to use an alpha cool block in there, I could actually on that window have an engravement of the MSI. So you could make kind of a customized type thing, which I think would be pretty cool. If you've ever seen the, the, the water block of, of the uh, alpha cool setup, it's probably two and a half, maybe three inches tall. It's square, like probably the MRX, uh, whatever, um, make them. It's that same dimension, but it's a lot taller and it's got a window in the side where you can see your water flow and how much water you have in the radiator, which is cool. All right, so this was a, this was a long unboxing actually, because I did a little bit of yap and I haven't done much of a video lately. So, yeah, I do like it. Comes with everything you need. It's got a huge thing that probably nobody's going to look at because you can look at the wires and it tells you pretty much where to plug everything. Um, it's not cheesy. It's definitely it's it's not as heavy as an NZXT or one of the two hundred dollar cases, but it is far. I paid more for that fractal meshify. And it was like a tin can. I wouldn't, like I said, I'm sorry. I love fractal stuff. They make some great stuff. But that one case is a nightmare. I don't like it. Let's see what the top looks like here. It's got a magnetized mesh filter on it. Kind of a filter, I guess you want to call that a filter. But it definitely will stop dust, big dust. You can see this absolutely yes if it doesn't if the bolt if the bolt patent isn't big enough for a for a for a, a 280 there's one yeah two fan two two fans here so you can put a 240 but there wouldn't be a problem whatsoever i don't think maybe this would be probably no, this is where the screw holes go for the the 120s and the 120s. So you got two 120s and a 280. You could probably squeeze it in there if you just made your own little bolt holes. I will not guinea rig it. If it fits, it will fit. I'll have to measure it out before I do it. But if it takes a 280 and it fits in there without interfering with the board, the motherboard or anything, I will put one in. I noticed on the front here, you could actually, they, they didn't put it in because you really can't see it from the front and it probably doesn't need it, but there's room here for another fan. I think they probably should have put the third ARGB fan in here. And although it's blocked, the airflow is blocked by this, this bar going across, it would have been nice if they left the option for you to take that fan and put the ARGB on the back. That would have been cool. That's like, this is probably like a $2 fan. These are probably $12, $13 fans. So they did save a little money there. All right, folks. 12.30. Got to get ready to rock and roll. I'm waiting for my ticket to go online so I can, I, I can pay it. The bloody city's got this thing going. They're freaking thieves. City of New Bedford, Ricardo's towing, they suck. They come over here every other Thursday. They say they're street cleaning. They have three cruisers in the back, six tow trucks in the center, three cruisers in the front. They got a rolling blockade. They go three quarters of a mile, stretch up the street I live on. And if anybody's towed there, 
they take your car. It's $140. I thought they did away with it. It wasn't last year, probably because of the pandemic. They started last night. I parked out there. Boom, I get smoked for 143 bucks. Um, and I'm a retired. I told them, they, they know I'm retired from, from, from law enforcement. Didn't help. They don't care. They want the money. So uh, they got something going. This has been going on for years. Them street cleaners, they're more worried about hooking cars and towing them out of there. They probably make 20 freaking grand on this street alone off of tows. They must have towed 70 cars last night. Amazing. Ama I couldn't believe it. I, I was thinking about running an ad about this. This is, this is getting out of hand. People are out of work, people are suffering, and the city is hammering people with $140. And oh, oh, on top of the $140, $143 fee for towing, they gave me a $15 ticket for blocking a, sand, a, a street sweeper. All it says on the ticket is sweep. Real classy, sweep. I'm gonna sweep you under the rug, you freaks. But, um, yeah, all right, I can't get on that. Uh, yeah. I, I paid it, 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 I'm gonna pay it, or oh, I paid the, the tow already, I gotta go online, pay that stupid $15 and be done with this sh crap. So, oh man. Okay, so this is gonna be the build. This is gonna go for sale. Everything in here that's gonna go for sale is gonna be at MSRP. Video card, motherboard, CPU, water coolant, everything. It is not going to be scalper price. It's not happening. This card's going to get sold. It's going to get sold for what I got it for. It's not getting scalped. This card, I was amazed. I couldn't find it from any of my distributors. I ended up, I wanted this one. I could have got one similar, but I wanted the one with the name that broke the record. I wasn't going to say, I got a 69, this broke the world record. No, it didn't. This one broke the world record. The power color, not the Gigabyte, not the Asus, none of them. The power color did. That's the one I wanted to do a review on. So when I say I got the one that broke the world record, I do have the one. Sure, I can say I got a 69 XT. This is the card that broke the world record, sure. The 69 XT did, but that ain't the company and that ain't the card that broke it. Well, this ain't legitimately the card, but I have the original company and the ultimate. This is the card, the air-cooled card that did it. So thank you, OGS from Greece. You are awesome. And I'm glad I got this. It's a pricey card. Nothing is cheap these days. But even from my distributor, I got one guy had one of these, and I snagged it. He sent it over to me, and it's a couple thousand dollar card, and it should probably go for around fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars when... MSRP, which is never going to exist again, but suggested price, I would think this would probably be more in the $1,500 range, but um, I know somebody will buy it. What are people going to do? I'm not going to take a hit on it, but I'm not going to make a profit either. So that's what it's going to do. It's going to go for sale. It's going to probably be a little over because I got to cover my shipping cost and Whoever gets this is going to have one smoking card. And also, AMD has came out with their technology and they're getting really good at it. Um, it does have the name on here of this technology that they've been working on. And it's that new um, display video streaming up to 4K, 8K video streaming. Wow. Okay. This um, AMD... Our DNA 2 architecture, they have been fine tuning it and it's getting pretty darn close to being the quality that you get with, um, with ray tracing. Not the same because it's not supported. You have AMD supported games, you have Nvidia supported games, but games that will support it, it will give you smooth frame rate. And honestly, if you are a gamer, you are not going to game with ray tracing on maybe DLSS, but ray tracing is gonna suck 25% of the life right out of your card. Love your NVIDIA, but the truth is, is ray tracing is a pretty thing, but it's not performance. It's all looks. So there we have it, folks. 20 minutes of me wasting everybody's time. <laughs> 
everyone take <laughs> take care have a good day these videos will be out it's friday now so you'll be watching these next week sometime everybody great have a good one i'm so looking forward to this card what a beautiful card all right people take care oh don't forget please subscribe give me a like do something for me thank you take care